welcome once again. I'm grateful, little angels. Today is my favorite day. Yesterday is gone and today is here. Welcome to Easy Elimu, Learning Simplified. As the previous lesson says, we talked about more than, less than. And today, as you can see, we want to talk about less than and equal to. I hope you are all good and ready for this lesson. Look at our table. Our table today has a variety of utensils. Some of them are in your homes. Some of them you've used them. Some of them you've played with them. And here we are. So today we want to look at less than and equal to. As I was saying yesterday, now we had the two peoples on this side. Can you see the two peoples on this side? Yeah, we had a boy and a girl. Now on the other side, we had a grade one people, we had a grade four people, we had a grade six people, and we had a junior high people. All of them are in our school. And do you know what? When we were counting the kids, we said the kids on this side were only two. And on the other side, they were only five. Can we do the counting again? One, two, three, four, five. And we said yesterday, the kids on, the, on this side are more than the kids on this side. But today now, it is vice versa. We want to talk about less than and equal to. What can someone say about these two kids and the five kids on the other side? Can someone give me a try? Can I hear someone answering that question? We can now say that the kids on this side are less than the kids on the other side. Are we together, everyone? We are saying the kids on the right side of the teacher. Are you seeing the kids on the right side of the teacher? Are we communicating? Are less than the kids on the left side of the teacher. Is that okay? So, I, as I was saying, we have several utensils. Where do we find utensils in our home? Are they in the kitchen? Are they in the sitting room, in the bedroom? Do you keep this in the bedroom? Uh -huh. Someone is telling me, yes, my mommy keeps the jug in the... Do we keep the jug in the bedroom? No, 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 we can't keep the jug in the bedroom. We have a very, very nice, beautiful plates here. Do you have some in your homes? I know you have some in your homes. Don't say you don't know. Okay, so let's see. I have how many chairs here? What? Ah, these chairs are nice. Ah, so look at these chairs of mine. I have one chair there. Uh -huh. Another one is here. Beautiful one again. Mm -hmm. Another one is here. Very beautiful. Uh -huh. So, how many chairs can you see in our classroom? How many chairs can you see on the board? Someone give me an answer. How many chairs can we see? We can count them, all of us. Let's count. One, two, three, four. How many chairs do we have in a class? Four. We say four like a, four like a chair. Four like a, four like a chair. Now, let me see. How many flasks do I have? How many kettles do I have in my class? I guess I only have one kettle. So, someone make a sentence using the word less than and equal to. Someone make a sentence using the word less than and equal to. Huh? Who needs to try? Any trial? Yeah, let's make that sentence all together. So, what can you say? These are chairs. Chairs. Do you know how to spell the word chairs? Yes. Most of you know they know the word chairs. Then you have the kettle. So what can you say about the chairs and the kettle? We can say the kettle, the kettle is less than the chairs. Class, what can you say about the kettle and the chairs? We can say the kettle is less than the chairs. Maybe if I use a different color, you'll be able to identify what I'm saying. The chairs. The kettle is less than the chairs. Uh -huh. And we also talked about equal to. Let me see. 
what are equal here? What can we make equal here? Maybe the, uh -huh, we look at the cups. Let me use how many cups? Wanna get different cups? Do you have cups in your home? Wow, these cups are beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. Aha, uh -huh, nice one. How many cups do I have on this side? Are you able to see the cups I have on this side? Which colors are those? Which colors are the cups? Wow, green like the leaves. And the blue? Blue like a sky. Okay, now let me talk about these plates. How many plates do I have here? How many plates do I put here? I can use two plates. I can use two plates. What are the colors of our plates? What are the colors of our plates? One plate is yellow and another one is purple. So what can someone say about the cups? Give me a trial, a trial. Anybody who's gonna try? Anybody who's gonna join the teacher and help the teacher out? Maybe, let me count out. Let's count out. One, two. Uh -huh. What about the plates? The plates are also one, two. We say two like a duck, two like a duck. Let's go like a duck. Huh? Two like a duck. So we are saying we have cups, which are two, and we have plates, which are also two. Huh? Ha -ha. Someone tell me, make a sentence using the word equal to. A sentence using the word equal to. Agree. Someone give me a trial, a trial, a trial. Anybody who's willing to try? Anybody who's willing to help the teacher? Oh, someone has just whispered, the cups, the cups are equal to, the cups are equal to the plates. Class, what can you say about the cups? The cups are equal to the plates. Is that okay? Have you understood what we have talked about today? We have talked about less than and equal to. Less than and equal to. And we have said the chairs are more. So we say the kettle is less than the chairs. And the cups are equal to the plates. Now, I want to give you an assignment. I want to give you an assignment. I want to give you an assignment. <sighs> In my class, you've seen the chairs. You've seen the chairs. We have one red chair have you seen the one red chair uh -huh. compared to the two yellow chairs uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. are you seeing the two red two yellow chairs and the one red chair what can you say about the yellow chairs and the red chair we can say that the red chair is are less than the yellow chairs. So any people who come to my class and say, I want red and there are two, one will miss a seat. Meaning they are less than the yellow chairs. Thank you very much, my peoples. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. And next time, when we talk about more than and less than, you are very comfortable to answer any question about more than, less than, equal to. When you talk about more, it means it is in plenty. When you talk about less, it means they're just a few. And when you talk about equal to, they are the same numbers. Thank you very much. I wish you well. Hope to see you in the next lesson. It's your teacher. Anunciator.